when a rocket fired by a Palestinian terrorist misfired and landed on a Palestinian hospital. Hamas is responsible and should be held accountable for all civilian casualties. You are not alone. As I emphasized earlier, we will continue to have Israel's back. Hamas seeks to maximize civilian casualties. Hamas wants to kill as many Israelis as possible and has no regard whatsoever to Palestinian lives. Every day, they perpetrate a double war crime, targeting our civilians while hiding behind their civilians, embedding themselves in the civilian population and using them as human shields. We've seen the cost of this, this terrible double war crime against humanity that Hamas is perpetrating in the last 11 days as Israel legitimately targets terrorists. Civilians are unfortunately harmed. Hamas is responsible and should be held accountable for all civilian casualties. We saw the cost of this terrible war crime yesterday when a rocket fired by a Palestinian terrorist misfired and landed on a Palestinian hospital. The entire world was rightfully outraged, but this outrage should be directed not in Israel, but at the terrorists. As we proceed in this war, Israel will do everything it can to keep civilians out of harm's way. We have asked them and will continue to ask them to move to safer areas. In the wake of Hamas's uh, appalling terrorist assault, brutal, inhumane, uh, almost beyond belief what they did. This cabinet came together and uh, standing strong, standing united, and, uh, and I want you to know you're not alone. You are not alone. As I emphasized earlier, we will continue to have Israel's back as you work to defend your people. We'll continue to work with you and partners across the region to prevent more tragedy to innocent civilians. 75 years ago, your founders declared that this nation would be one based, quote, based on freedom, justice, and peace. Based on freedom, justice, and peace. The United States stands with you in defense of that freedom, in pursuit of that justice, and in support of that peace today, tomorrow, and always. We promise you.